it's been super request that I did this video ever since that you guys saw in a haul that I got a new purse and that was a few months ago. So I'm to do a very candid what's in my purse for you guys. I haven't gotten through this in a while so it's gonna be a lot of junk. First let's talk about what my purse is. This is the Rebecca Minkoff um, Morning After Bags, the MAB and I got this from Bloomingdale's. The color is tan or taupe or something like that. I cannot find it online, the color anymore. Basically, it's just like this very nice, pretty, like kind of like tumbled leather, uh, like a tan color. It's super cute. It's like a larger size. I'd kind of consider it kind of like a medium-sized handbag. Actually, it has a crossbody strap, so you can wear it across your body. And it also has a strap here, so you can wear it on your shoulder, but I mostly wear it on the crook of my arm. So I'll try and find a link to where you can purchase this purse and I'll put that in the down bar. I don't know if you're going to find the exact colors still because I did get it a couple months ago, but I will try my hardest for you all. First, starting off with this, we've got the inside is also blue and black polka dots. So let's start by it's in this pocket. First thing I see is my cell phone. I have the iPhone 4S with no text messages because I'm cool like that. And my case, if you guys were wondering, it's this texturized silicone rosettes all over it and I got this from Amazon. So I'll try and link that too, but they have these everywhere. They have it on Society6 and it's on different like phone case websites. This one was like $4, so because I'm cheap like that. The next thing that's in here is a ring that I got that broke. So it broke when I was shopping one day. So I just stuffed that in my purse. Next thing in here is this. And this is my uh, room service charge for when I went to LA. This is a LAX baggage claim ticket check. Next I have three hotel keys. Are they, you supposed to give these back? Because they didn't ask for them back. I have three keys because I lost so many of them. True fact. Next I have a Maria's takeout and delivery menu. It's Italian food. Fat ass problem, just keeping a menu in my purse in case I need to order something. Then I have, oh, oh, I should do this. I really want to get a Starbucks card. Um, so yeah, I picked this up last time I was at Starbucks, which was like yesterday. Free soy milk, totally need to do that. I have a style haul business card, a pink berry punch card with two on it. Sacks off fifth rewards card. And I have the Victoria's Secret things. I don't know if you guys are like one of their angel reward members or you have like an angel's card or something. I'm a huge Victoria's Secret person, but every month you get, they'll have like a promotion where you spend like, I think it's 60 to $75. Yeah, this one's $65. You get a free something. And this is a free makeup bag set. And this is valid from September 20th to the 23rd. So I'm going to cash that in and do that. And you get a free underwear and $10 off any bra. And they're all for like different cool stuff and that's all that's in this little front pocket and now let's go on to the big doozy right in the middle these cute little tassels which I like in gold hardware so loving it the first thing in here that I can see is my Kindle it's kind of half open right now this is my Kindle I have the Kindle touch I'm a huge reader I read everywhere I go um, that's why I keep it in my purse just like in case I'm in the airport or like stuck somewhere or like getting frozen yogurt by myself or something and I just want to read it out so this case is from Caseable. I designed it myself. It has an M on it. In the back it says, we read to know that we are not alone because I'm emo like that. And this is C.S. Lewis quote. Balls. Next thing in here is a giant thing of Advil. I did not even know this was in my purse. I'm really accident prone and I get hurt a lot. Next thing in here are my sunglasses. These are my Ray-Bans. Uh, the style number, because everyone always asks, it's RB2140. And they're just like the tortoiseshell wayfarers but they're like the big size, you know what I mean? They're just kind of like a lot larger and I have a really fat, huge face. So it works a lot better for me to have a bigger like pair of sunglasses. Next have more pills because I'm a druggie. No, that's a lie. I'm just like not the healthiest person on the planet. Then I've got a singular sock. I should probably just keep this just in case for sock buns. Why not? So the next like big thing in my purse is my wallet. This is my Kate Spade wallet. It's getting a little dirty, which sucks, but I got this last year. And here I have all my yogurt rewards cards because I eat frozen yogurt a lot. I've got Sephora cards, American Eagle, gift cards, more yogurt cards, Pete's, Starbucks, all of my old student IDs, my debit card, my driver's license, and all that stuff. So next in here is a ton of junk. I am a hoarder. I throw things in my purse. I leave them there. I don't clean it out. So we're kind of just going to go through. More pills, total druggie. So I have my contacts. In case my contact like rips like it did during the AP exam. True fact, senior year, like two minutes into the AP test for, was it AP comp or AP lit? Whatever, what, uh, one of the AP tests I took. It, 
my eye like started itching, I rubbed it, my contact ripped in half. And I was like, what? So I'm half blind. Take mine, I'm like really, really, really blind. Like I can't see anything. And so then I was like, oh my god, and then suddenly the other one popped out. So I took the entire AP test blind. I still passed. Can we just say that's like really good? Your Acubi Oasis, in case you're wondering. I have another sock in here. This one's really dirty. It's <laughs> gross. More pills. I've got my keychain. The only really awesome one on here is my sparkly Megan. Shit, my phone's ringing. So yeah, I drive a Prius, so it's one of those like push buttony things. So I don't have to actually like have my keychain on, like turn it in or anything like that. So otherwise, I don't think I would. I've got a solo bracelet. It's from Forever 21. Just kind of a wrap one, you know, just in case. Like I feel like my arm candy stacking isn't sufficient for the day. I have some extra ones just chilling in my purse. I've got another hand sanitizer. I keep two hand sanitizers in my purse. I don't know why I do that. This one is the warm vanilla sugar. And this, the world is nasty, people. Don't want to get no diseases. I have a ticket stub from the Katy Perry part of my movie. Fun fact, cried the entire thing. It was such a good, such a good freaking movie. Then I have a business card for Ambiance in San Francisco, which is a jewelry store. I have a ticket stub from... Awkward. Yeah, this is for Step Up Revolution, and it was so bad that me and Jerry refunded our tickets. Ten minutes in. Yeah, I didn't even know you could do that, but we asked. It was just that bad. Then I have a magic mic. Stub, which was not a painful movie to watch. And then I have these two things. This is a Rebecca Minkoff authentic blah blah blah, like an authenticity thing. And then I have the Call Me Vincent thing from my last What's in My Clutch video. We figured out that everyone in the world has these. I just thought it was cool. It's basically a business card with man's face on it. In the back it says Call Me with a number and it says Vincent. So in my last video we all like called and figured out who it was. And it turns out they do it for everybody so I'm not special. So now going up to these things, this one's kind of sticking out, so we'll start with these. They're basically just two little pockets, the exact same size. But first I have my Clean and Clear oil absorbing sheet before I take like an Instagram pic. I'm like, wait, let me blot my fate down. Face, fate, blot your fate. It sounded really deep. It wasn't that deep. Next in here, I have a packet of gum. This is the Splashing Mint. Um, to be totally honest, I only bought this because on clearance at Target for 96 cents. The rest of this little pocket is filled with lip products, which I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's a girl thing that lip products just get accumulated in your bag. You just toss them in and suddenly you're like, there are six lip glosses in this purse. My EOS lip balm, and this is in Sweet Mint. It's the egg one. Oh my god, this one is by far my favorite. The honeydew one is also really nice, but this smells like, oh, I love it. It is amazing. And it's like a little egg and it's super cute, so you don't really lose it unless it like rolls away, which could be an issue. My dog used to play with it because it thought it was like a toy. What color are you? French Kiss by NYX. It's just like a shimmery pink color, just like a neutral gloss. I love the next glosses. They smell like Jolly Ranchers and they're super smooth and really nice. Next I have the MAC Lip Gloss in Pink Lemonade. This has been like my favorite lip gloss recently. It's like the newest one I bought from MAC. It's like this corally pink color. Next I have the Maybelline Baby Lips and this one is in Peach Kiss. And it smells really good and I like the color. These are not the most moisturizing of lip balms. I kind of use as my purse as a lip color, but I love the smell and I love how it looks. And my final lip gloss is the Beauty Rush lip gloss. Oh, this is the Margarita Island Mojito Smoothie something Pina Colada. It's the Pina Colada flavor. I love these. They're like super cheap lip glosses. I swear these were like these were like the rate all the rage in my middle school. And I think they're still really good lip glosses in there. Smell like, oh, it smells so good. And the last little thing of makeup I have in here is the Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer in light medium. I just like keeping concealer with me because I do have acne. I know it's a lovely, lovely, lovely thing in my life. So I like keeping concealer with me and this one's really nice and just the doe foot applicator, it's super compact and everything like that. So now on to this little pocket. I have a confession for you all. I am an extreme couponer. Do we see these? Ah. Love. These are basically just a whole freaking stack load of coupons. So aside from my insane amount of CBS coupons, I have a Bath and Body Works. Oh, this expired. Claire's one. Oh, ten dollars off. The next purchase of twenty or more at Claire's. So not that I shop at Claire's really, but I'm gonna find an excuse to use a coupon because that's what I do. Now I have this little zip up pocket on this side, and in here I've got a Marriott Elite Member Rewards Card, a Courtyard Marriott Hotel little thank thing, a receipt for, how did I spend zero dollars at Starbucks? Confusing? So then I have a little tag thing, so oh yeah, it'll tell you exactly what it's called. So it's the Rebecca Minkoff Morning After Bag, the mini morning after bag, and it is in the color taupe, in case you're wondering. So I have the little tags there. 
So then I have these little Italian candies that they serve at like Italian restaurants near where I live and they're super tasty. So now my little purse is very light and empty and this makes me kind of want to go through it and clean it all out with all the junk that I recently found in here. So yes, this is my lovely purse. I love her. We have not named her. Should we name her? I don't know. Maybe we'll just call her her. She'll be ambiguous. Her. She. It. Heaven on earth. So like this video. If you like purses. Like it. Oh, ow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have a what's in your purse video, make sure to leave it in the video responses because I love watching these videos. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys later. <gasps> Goodbye. Goodbye. I feel like I'm talking to a baby except the camera. <gasps> coochie, coochie, coo.